Welcome to the news. In this video I want to talk about a scam. Um, but before I discuss that, I just want to say I'm going to do a series of videos about internet dating. There, there are many issues regarding internet dating. So I'm going to do a big series of videos, uh, various parts, to try and discuss um, is internet dating in the modern world any good? Or is it worth just staying clear of it? <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's get to the scam. So the scam is called sex extortion. So you may be contacted by someone through social media such as Facebook or the dating site and you'll exchange Skype details and you'll talk to each other on Skype and you'll have long discussions and then you'll at some point have a Skype call. Then you may see a lady in front of you, possibly transgender or male, depending on if, you know which sex you are or Races are irrelevant in this video as well, because it will happen to all races, obviously. Um, so you're talking to someone on a video call, which isn't normal, out of the ordinary, is it? Um, but then, at some point, you see someone getting naked, and then they're taking their clothes off, and then they're saying, well, I'd like you to do the same. And you might be foolish, and you might feel turned on, and you might do that, do the same thing. And then they tell you, I have a video of you being naked, I know who you are, because obviously your Skype account name would be there, and they found you on Facebook, they show you screenshots of your Facebook account, so they found who you are, and they say, I'm going to send this video to your friends, relatives, work colleagues, if you don't send me some money. So it's blackmail, extortion, hence the word sex extortion. And... Um, their, their whole concept is to try and rip you off and they blackmail you. Now it's unfortunate that some people have um, committed suicide over this. Five men have been known to commit suicide once someone had done this. Um, typically once they've got their money off you they will ask for more or they may even send a video to your relatives whether you sent them money or not. Some people have sent thousands of pounds and uh, still um, had that video sent to people they know. And rather than face the embarrassment and shame, they commit suicide. And it's quite sad that that happens. And anyone who's under the age of 17, please um, talk to someone. Ring the Samaritans. You can be anonymous if you want to and talk and get some advice because these people are scumbags they are blackmailers and they don't care about you the advice from the police the met is um, don't send them any money ignore them don't talk to them take screenshots disable your Facebook account um, maybe a few weeks later you can reactivate it and set your security settings up properly so that no one can um, obviously get in touch and um, tell people you know that may have received this message um, to report it to Facebook and it will probably get highlighted as spam Facebook are quite good at these things though they do report um, ban these people obviously they may have multiple accounts but they will ban uh, these messages as well the, the messages will be unreadable and classed as spam or abusive or harassment um, so I just want to do say thank you to Facebook for keeping an eye on this. I know Facebook's got a lot of bad press, but when it comes to these messages uh, through Facebook, they are really keen to cut this sort of thing out. Uh, because I think they realise that cyberbullying is a big thing on the internet, and they do want to try and protect underage people, um, and children in particular. So, obviously... The advice from the police is don't panic um, and sometimes it might be worthwhile just to come clean to, to your relatives, your mum and dad, your friends, your brother, your sister um, and just say or even some of your friends that you trust um, that someone may try and send this message. You see typically they will once you've paid them even if it's a few hundred pound um, they'll ask for more which could end up being thousands of pounds and even then they may still send that message in spite um, now the Philippines police are working with the UK police um, 
to try and clamp this down on this. And a recent BBC documentary that I saw where they showed these people being caught is they actually went to a few of the suspects and said, this person um, died because of what you did. Uh, do you understand what you did? And while he denied, um, you know, being involved in it, in my opinion, in his eyes, I could read what he was feeling, and that was guilt. Anyway, uh, the, the, the advice from the police is report it. They say they will be open-minded, they won't judge you. This happens all the time. Um, and, you know, I'm starting to feel that there are so many scammers on the internet that it is costing the West the, the, the businesses, the governments, billions of pounds across the world and I think, I think the death penalty should come back to be um, a deterrent against them doing something like this um, because the nature of these scammers, not just this scam but there's other scams such as romance scams and where people have been so foolish to lose as much as half a million if not a million pounds sometimes and they've just believed everything these scammers have said and that's what these scammers do they lie they pretend they try and put hope into people's minds that um, they are there to try and be your friend your lover you know and, and they're not they're just there to try and rip you off they, they see um, scamming you the general public as a job um, and they get bonuses you know for making as much money as possible just like you might have a sales job and if you're the, the greatest selling person um, you might get a bonus well these people get a bonus for, for scamming um, Westerners